Another way you could pay attention to context is if we're going back to our line, lead us not into temptation, you can look at the word for temptation. The word there in Greek is periosmos, and it means a putting to the proof, a trial, and a temptation. And what's unique about this word is that it means both at the same time. You can either pass a test or fail a test. You can fall to temptation or resist temptation. It's all about how you respond to it. And then you might want to ask, okay, this word temptation in the Lord's Prayer, where else does it show up? So if you're reading the Gospel of Matthew, you might notice one chapter earlier, it shows up here in chapter 4, verse 1. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. There's that word temptation, periosmos. Notice that when we read the Lord's Prayer in context with what just happened to Jesus a chapter earlier, we get a bit more context. The Spirit leads, and who, congregation, who is doing the tempting? Yeah. I think that should give us a bit of clarity of what's going on here. 